back to another video today was my first day back at school it is my second term of core I'm taking a total of four classes this term med surge pharmacology and then the med surge skills and then med surge clinicals so again a term at West Coast is 10 weeks so for the next 10 weeks of my life I will have the following schedule on Thursdays I will have med surge first at 7 in the morning until 12 at noon Noon. And then right after at 12.30 until 5.30, I have pharmacology. And on Fridays from 6.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m., I have clinicals all day. And then on Saturday is skills from 12 noon until 5 p.m. I don't like to disclose where I'm going to go to clinicals just for like privacy reasons. Since I'm not going there, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I was supposed to go to the VA, which is a federal hospital. And the school basically told everyone that was assigned to the VA that we have been reassigned a clinical placement with no explanation whatsoever. And I'm really upset for two reasons. A, because they made us jump through so many hoops like fingerprinting, drug tests, doing like a mandatory four hour training. We had to like salute to and take an oath to the constitution which i found so culty by the way but we're not even gonna get started on that this was all going on during finals so it was already such a stressful time we weren't given autonomy over our new schedule we were basically told here's your new schedule follow it like we don't have a choice you know or else we're gonna like fall a term behind i can only imagine how upset the people in my cohort are that our parents that are working full-time while being a full-time student, the people that are taking care of their parents, the people that have issues in their personal lives, you know? We were basically forced to accommodate to the new schedule with less than a week's notice. So obviously we all have to switch around things in our personal lives again, but that is not even the most upsetting part. The most upsetting part is that we were so excited to start to gain hospital experience. And that's not going to happen because the new clinical site that we were placed at is yet again, another care facility. So that was a great start to the term. You already know today was the first day of school. I had med surge and farm today. I have like 10 chapters of homework for pharmacology, a shit ton of drugs to memorize and six chapters of med surge. We will be tested on all of that next Thursday. So I am waiting in the hallway. We just finished our med math exam and yes, we were already bombarded with a med math exam on the first day of school but um, our professors last term did warn us that they would do this, so I was able to prep for it ahead of time. I did pretty good, I got a 96. Uh, it was out of 35 questions. It was pretty simple med math. So we were just waiting out here for the other students to finish. I heard there are bagels in the lounge, so I'm gonna go check that out. study room so we are gonna wait here until our next class it's about 11 30 right now this class technically ends at 12 but she let us out early um, and then the next class starts at 12 30 so we have a good hour to eat um, and then I'll start previewing the next classes lecture a little bit is a 
6.30. It's literally been a 12 hour day, but um, not too shabby, not too shabby. I learned a lot. Just so far, I like my instructors. I am starving. I want dinner. So, I'm gonna go get canes. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys, but I got too excited. I was gonna go study right now, but I'm not. Instead, I'm gonna do some leisure reading and just relax for a bit. I picked up three new books for the summer. This one is The Daughters of Madurai. I hope I'm not butchering that. A Little Life, which will probably take me the whole summer since this is a little over 800 pages, so it's gonna be quite a slow read. And then I picked up a classic, Emma. Yeah! with you I am not very excited um, obviously when I'm there and when I'm interacting with patients um, these aren't even patients they are residents like I have a good time I have my heart open to them or else why am I entering this profession um, I am just upset because I don't see a value in going there as to gaining an education out of it. I am going to pick up my favorite coffee and I also got a birthday cake pop and that's my breakfast <laughs> but hopefully it will cheer me up because we got to make the best out of things. Okay I feel a little bit better. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know I was really upset this morning because I thought that this place was just another assisted care facility um, I'm glad that I was wrong because it's actually a sniff and there is a like assisted living section of patients at the facility and then the other section is more um, inpatient care and that's where all the wound care is at, that's where all the NG tubes, the G tubes, um, and the ostomy bags so that's the section where you get to learn um, all the new things. So I'm very, very glad that it was not the case. I actually had a pretty decent day. I manifested, I manifested, and the universe answered my prayers because after lunchtime, it was all action. I got to do a G-tube. I did feeding and med admin. I also did a focus assessment on two very interesting patients. The first patient was a right leg amputation. So I got to do the surgical site assessment, which was really cool. It was an above the knee, mid thigh amputation. And that was from gangrene related to type two diabetes. The second patient had GBS. GBS is a really rare 
disease. It's Guillain-Barr syndrome and it is an extremely painful syndrome. Um, it's very rare. I think one in 100,000 people see it. I remember in pathophysiology about two terms ago, we had a good chunk of GBS um, for our idiopathic diseases, which is basically like the diseases that we don't know the cause of. Um, since GBS is so rare, um, it's under-researched, right? So that's really why we don't completely understand it. With these two patients, I was like really geeking out because I've read all the science and information on the possible complications of diabetes and all of the information about GBS. So it was really cool to see it on real life people. Um, I don't mean to sound insensitive when I say that because um, these patients are real people with real lives and it um, is really heartbreaking and unfortunate that they have these. But there's something about reading information and actually like witnessing it, that in person. It's just so fascinating. Um, despite the slow morning, uh, the day actually picked up and it turned out to be a pretty good day full of new experiences. I went to go grab my camera, but I am home now. I just took a shower. It felt so, so good. Yes, Spooky! skills not clinical skills but today I have to be there from 1 to 5 hopefully she lets us out early <laughs> it's a little annoying that it's on a Saturday because who wants to go to school on a Saturday but I did enjoy my morning I went to Pilates I had a good breakfast and I just lounged a little bit um, I did take my sweet ass time getting ready just because I thought that there would be no freaking traffic today since it's Saturday. That bit me in the ass because there's so much traffic because I forgot it's Father's Day weekend. Disastrous. So I am running late as usual. Absolutely, absolutely disastrous. We are literally going 13 miles per hour. Why are there so many fathers? Ah! o'clock that wasn't too bad guys that wasn't too long um yeah not not too bad we had a review assessment exam on head to toe this would be the second class of this week that gave an exam on the first day but head to toe is something we've practiced um, all throughout the term last term wasn't too bad and she was actually pretty pretty lenient on it uh, I did not complete my head to toe but I completed enough of it to pass it was only a pass or fail uh, but I missed literally everything from waist down it's not that I didn't know the information on what to assess it's just I need to work on my timing and I think that's just gonna come with practice and more exposure on doing these head to toe assessments you know hi guys it is thursday again it's the 22nd i'm home it's about 8:56 in the evening um it's been a really long day 
Today marked the second week of school. I got tested on the lecture from week one of uh, farm and med surge. Med surge I did fine on, but farm I got a C. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm hoping that it's because it's the first exam, you know, with the first exam you don't really know what to expect as far as how the instructor likes to word their questions or like their tendencies on the things to focus on, but I'm remaining hopeful because uh, you guys remember when I took patho I got a C two exams in a row and I ended the class with an A so fingers crossed that that's all that's going on and that I don't suck at farm because farm is really important in nursing like you gotta know your drugs all the best nurses are on top of their drugs I want to be a good nurse so I really am gonna dedicate myself to this class that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it just like that I'm done with the first exam the first week of school it's pretty fast paced hopefully you guys will stick around for this journey and I will see you guys in the next one bye